good morning or good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be watching this video at this time welcome to my first video review and this review is of Marvel Universe's Toxin uh, I'll give you a little backstory on the character first Toxin was birthed from Carnage before he was birthed Carnage found out that his symbiote was about to give birth to a baby symbiote and wanted to destroy it for it threatened before it felt threatened by its existence. Uh, Venom found out about this, however, but wanted to raise the symbiote and train him to be another ally. Um, after the birth of the symbiote, he was able to get away from Carnage due to his being weakening by the birthing of Toxin. After getting away, it found a New York City cop named Patrick Mulligan and returned days later as Toxin. So Patrick Mulligan is its host for the symbiote. The figure itself, however, is actually really nice, as you can see clearly. <clears throat> uh, paint job is excellent. Almost kind of looks like Carnage to a degree. And a bit of Venom with the black. Uh, Venom is actually his grandfather, so it makes sense. Uh, he does sport very nice detail, especially on the face, as you can see, and I shall bring it closer for you guys to look at. However, my camera won't let me zoom in, so unfortunately, I'll have to lift it up. It's kind of fuzzy right now, but you can see the white on the eyes, the black outlining, the teeth, and the tongue. Sorry about that, guys. It's really, uh fuzzy for some reason um, now I got this figure loose so I I didn't get the accessories but he comes with some sort of missile launcher that has symbiote faced heads to the missiles tell you I really don't care about having about not having the missiles it's I really don't like gimmicks in some of these figures some of the Marvel figures but other than that now let's move on to the articulation. The articulation on this figure is very similar to most of Hasbro's or Toy Biz's Marvel, Marvel Legends figures. Ergo, it has almost free range of movement in the head, although due to the chin, you can't really get it that far back. Uh, it does go up and down a bit, not only slightly. The shoulder here has that joint that every figure has well most every figure has so it can go up and down up and down this way and has the bicep swivel it's got the elbow joint only one joint at the elbow uh, can move at the at the wrist but doesn't swivel at the wrist which is kind of a shame it's got a finger joint but all fingers move as one as you can see not bad now it has the torso as well, as you can see, it's very stiff. It also has got articulation at the waist. And the leg is pretty similar to most Marvel Legends figures. It's got the ball joint here, so it can go up and down, in and out. It swivels at the upper thigh. Two joints at the knee. Uh, no, sh no shin swivel though joint at the ankle also uh, swivels a bit then the toe up and down so a very nice figure overall probably one of my most uh, favorite sim symbiote figures Will you stand stand you jerk there we go he's standing good boy good boy toxin now as you can possibly see there are some negatives about the figure. First of all, his hands. His hands are freaking huge. I mean, look at those. He's possibly got the most, the biggest hands for this size of figure. About five, in, five inches or 15 centimeters. Now his, but Mac, Mac Gergen Venom has hands similar to this. And I'll be doing a review of him later on. So let's back to this figure. Another thing, 
I'm not sure if you can actually notice this, but I'll try my best to show you. If you can kind of see, eh, it's kind of hard to tell, but his right leg is longer than his left leg. So actually, you should be able to see it right now. He's kind of leaning towards one side. I'm not sure if this is just my figure or this is all toxins, but he is a little bit uh, short-legged. Other than that, though, this figure's great. Get him if you don't have him, if you love the, all the symbiotes. Now I'll do a size comparison with Spider-Man's Tox series Toxin. I mean, that is Toxin. Carnage. Here is Carnage right here. So roughly the same size. And as you can tell, they look somewhat similar. <laughs> now let me bring in the grandfather to Toxin. Venom of the same series. I'm not sure what wave Venom or Carnage is from. Toxin is from wave ni series 19. In case you want to pick them out on eBay. Now I managed. Sorry about that, guys. There's Venom. There's the three symbiotes. Sorry about that. I didn't notice. I didn't notice that. Uh, look really nice together. Although, however, these two guys are evil, and Toxin is actually good in the Marvel Universe. He's the second symbiote to, to have the uh, alignment of good behind Hybrid. Hybrid, if you know, is another symbiote who, uh, who I don't know too much about. But I'll find out some more. So now let me get these two guys out of the way. And there is back to Toxin. So like I said, very good figure. I got mine open, so he sent me back about $15, if I correctly. I'm not sure how much he'd go for clothes. I haven't really checked. But I mean, if, if you like all the symbiotes, especially Carnage or Venom, and you know about Toxin, but you don't have the figure, I suggest you get him. He's a great figure. And that's all from me, people. Have a good one.